So the Remington Custom Shop is the epitome of custom shops. When we say custom, we mean literally anything that you could imagine. You want a certain color on the stock, we can do it. Barrel contours, lengths, twist rates, muzzle brakes, no muzzle brakes, silencers, uh, mounting devices, any brand of optics, any brand of scope mounts. I mean, literally the list is endless. If it's physically possible to do, we can do it. So Jordan reached out to me and, and asked if I'd have an interest in working with the Remington Custom Shop to develop really the ultimate ultralight mountain hunting rifle. To work with their team to identify the problems that we face in the mountains on the backpack hunts we do in these really remote locations where you know weight matters, reliability, consistency, accuracy are all super important in a rifle and develop that perfect gun here at the Remington Custom Shop. I had this idea that there should be some form of collaboration between Remington Custom Shop and Kuyu. I thought back to all the things Kuyu had done and couldn't remember them having done a collaboration with really anybody. We are specifically prepared to build a rifle for Jason and anybody who's a backcountry hunter to the very demanding specifications they have. So Garrett, just to give you um, a little bit of background on, on some of the conditions and things that I face, or, um, and I'm, my goals with this gun is we need to make it as light as possible. Okay. We need it to be as accurate as possible. I don't need a thousand yard gun, 500 yards is fine and in. My primary animal is sheep. I need an action that's very consistent, reliable, that can take abuse. And so that's kind of our goal today is, is what is that perfect package that we can build here at the Remington Custom Shop. Okay. Action material that I would recommend for a hunt like this, we have titanium. Now, it's about three ounces lighter than stainless. Which you can, yeah, you can feel it. Oh, feel you can feel a huge difference. It may be a little finicky when we're talking about really harsh conditions. I mean, my thought with curious. three ounces difference, it's, that's significant for sure. this gun. My choice would be to work with titanium sure. and then do everything we can here to make sure it's as consistent or as reliable as possible. So we have a long and short action titanium. I mean, there's a big length difference, but you have a lot more material moved out of this one. Sure. So what caliber choices in the short are we, would we think about for short action? I mean, the caliber of the day is 6.5 Creedmoor. Yep. And the fact that you've kind of given us a really strong range that you're comfortable shooting, 500. The 6.5 in our Barnes ammunition, which is what we're going to recommend for the package because of the bullet performance at that range. Yep. I don't think you'd go wrong with that caliber. Okay. That, so that, that makes sense. I think this, I think this is going to be a great choice, especially for shooting sheep. What, what's the kind of the next choice? It looks like we have some choices on bolts. We have some choices on triggers. So this is a bolt as it comes out of the factory. We can change the extractor. We can go from a Remington style extractor to an M16 style extractor. And whenever we go to an M16 style extractor, we always dual ejector the face. Okay. So you have two ejectors. In case one were to fail, okay. you know, get stuck down in the hole, you still have another one to back what it up. What would you do on your gun for this situation? I would build this every day. Two, two ejectors with an M16 trigger. That's what we're going to do then. And then what, are the, what are the different triggers you have sitting here? This is a Remington 40X trigger. Okay. This goes in every gun we build here unless the customer specifies they want something different. Okay. This trigger here is a Jewel. Okay. So this would be the standard Timney. Every gun I build myself has that trigger right there in it. Okay. I like that trigger. It's, it's, it's what I prefer. So let's run this one. Okay. All right. So next, I guess, barrels. With proof research and what they do, you can shave up to 2.2 pounds off of a barrel. Incredible. What do we give up on accuracy if we decide to choose the lighter weight barrel? With the testing that we've done with proof research barrels, we have seen zero adverse effects on accuracy. None. All very consistent. Okay. All very good shooting barrels. Um, stainless steel, they make metal stainless, wrapped in carbon fiber. And we're going to save two, over two pounds on the barrel? Uh, up to 2.2 pounds, depending awesome. on the contour we go with. Okay, great. This is their heavy Sendero, so this is more of a Remington contoured okay. varmint barrel okay. by Proof. And this is Proof's light right. Sendero. Now you can feel the massive there's a, difference. There's a two inch, two inch difference between the two. Okay. Absolutely, then. If we're not giving up any accuracy, we definitely want to go with the lighter weight barrel okay. from Proof. Yep. I think it makes tons of sense. I can't believe how much lighter it is. So we got the barrel, we got the action. I guess the last component here is the, is the stock choices, and you got several. So I want to streamline the stock as possible. I, I think these are nice for target shooting, long range shooting, you know, having the ability to adjust the cheek piece. I don't need that. I mean, I'm shooting under 500 yards. 500 yards is kind of max. I want a gun that's light, streamlined to pack, 
and I'm gonna sit down and make one shot with it. Which stock's this? This is Manners. Okay. Uh, Elite Series Carbon Fiber. So that's real streamlined. Doesn't have the, you know, this is, this is more in line with what I was thinking. Okay. Um, just to minimize bulk and weight as much as possible. Can we get, that barrel will, will fit in this? We can shoehorn it in there. Yeah. So it'll be shoehorn meaning it's gonna be thin, it, it, pretty tight? It, it'll be pretty thin up here, but it will fit. So We've it's already what made. I want. I mean, get away from, you know, carve out everything we can on this rifle. see a big company recognize the advantages to involving the customer. It's the future, and brands that figure it out today are the brands that are going to be around for a long time. The ones that don't are going to have challenges until they do. It's great to see a brand that I've known and used for so long, Remington, recognize that and doing something about it.